Analytical chemistry is a branch of chemistry in which we perform various analysis and quantification of different chemical compounds. For the quantifications, we need different lab equipment. These are weighing balance, different glasswares, micropipette, and manual pipettes. Now we will discuss them briefly. Wing balance is an instrument that is used to measure the mass. They are of two types, analytical balance and precision balance. Both of them can be different as per quantity and precision. If we can see this weighing balance, it has three different windows. The upper window and two side windows. This is the control panel of the weighing balance through which we can select our parameters. If we can see the monitor of weighing balance, it can measure up to 0.0001 milligram of the weight. So this is called analytical balance. Coming towards the glass wares, the first glass equipment we have is beaker. Beaker is considered to be as workhorse lab equipment of any laboratory. It came in different sizes. If we can look at the shape of the beaker, it has flat bottom and wide mouth. It has the various volume capacity. This beaker can measure the volume up to 250 ml. But measurement of the volume through beaker is not considered to be very precise because there are chances of 5% of instrumental error. Coming towards the uses of the beaker, we use the beaker for storing of the solution, mixing of the solution, and sometimes heating of the solution due to its flat bottom. The next class where we have is conical flask. Conical flask is also known as Erlenmeyer glass. It can be seen, it has the flat bottom and narrow neck. It can be used for transferring of the solution and gently shaking of the solution when you have to mix the solution. It also came into the various volume capacity when we need any solution to be covered, we can pack, we can cover its mouth with paraffin films and cotton. The next glassware we have, graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder is used for measurement of the liquids with up to 1% of the instrumental error. It is considered to be precise for measurement of the volume of any liquid. Precise then beaker and conical glass. The next glassware we have is volumetric glass. Volumetric glass is used for the preparation of solution. It came with the fixed volume capacity like this volumetric flask have a capacity of 500 ml. It can came with the topper cap. This plastic instrument is called manual piper. Manual piper is used for the transfer of liquid volume in smaller quantities. With this manual piper, 
we can transfer the volume of liquid up to 25 ml. This plastic part of the manual piper is called piper filler that can be fitted on its upper surface. It has two parts, this small wheel that can be a rotatable and a button. Small wheel is utilized to aspirate the liquid volume into the piper as if I put that piper into the liquid and rotate the wheel with my thumb, you can see the liquid start aspirating into the piper. And with the pressing of this button, will release the liquid or dispense the liquid out of the piper. Manual piper also came into different volume capacity. This one was the, having the capacity of 25 ml and the next one is having the capacity of 10 ml. The next lab equipment we have is micro piper. If we want to measure the volume of liquid into the microliters, so we use the micro piper. It also came into various volume capacity like this micro piper can measure the volume from 100 microliter to 1000 microliter. There are various parts of the micro piper. That circular part of micro piper is known as plunger. Plunger performs two functions. The first function is the adjust the volume of micro piper by rotating it clockwise and anti-clockwise. The second function of the plunger is to aspirate and dispense the liquid from the micro piper by pressing it downward. The next part of the micro piper is tip ejector. Tip ejector is can remove the tip. If I can show you like this is the micro piper tip. We put the tip on tip cone of the micro piper. With that plunger we can aspirate the liquid into the micro piper. By pushing it down, we can dispense the liquid out of the micro pipe. And with that tip ejector, with my thumb, I can remove the micro pipe tip very easily. Usually, the micro pipers are utilized in the research of biological sciences because we have to provide a sterilized condition while transferring of the solution. As we have seen, the micro piper tip can be changed easily so that ensure to provide a sterilized environment. 